going on guys so next day the weather has taken a turn so just a few hours ago we were driving the 57 now oh, look at this so it's dead in the driveway covered in snow so that's a problem for later so what i'm gonna do today or attempt to do today is finally tackle these doors so i've been doing a bunch of googling and looking around and stuff it appear as though these doors had originally had this little kind of seam that would go up, cross over, and then go back down. Uh, what I'm going to do is make this in a few different pieces. So, strengthen up here, have it do a 90, follow this curve front and back so it's all rotted, and then just the kind of skin itself will go out. So this inner piece has to fit in the sill and then it'll kind of go up and it'll just kind of sandwich right there with the outer. So I don't think I'm going to worry about this just yet. So I think I'll just make the panel a little bit smaller and then whatever I make I could literally just weld on after and bodywork in and if I decide to go across the bottom or if I just leave it without it. I think it looks kind of goofy in the pictures where it goes across the bottom of the door so I don't know. Like it doesn't have it here. It doesn't have it there, so it's just the door itself has the perimeter. So I think I'll just go front and back because it does overlay over. And we'll see what happens. But uh, first time doing this. So we're going to start right now. probably see me do a little bit of screwing around here so the first thing I did is I made a little piece in the break I actually regret doing it I should have done it another half inch so it's still kind of rot on the door so I might redo that piece uh, otherwise I just kind of put this piece in uh, like I said I'm gonna have to do the edges I think I'm gonna do them separately because I don't quite have the skill yet to bead roll that in I'm sure I probably could figure it out but it does step up and then wrap around actually but, uh, so the door closes, it kind of follows the contour, so it's not too bad to kind of hold it. So I'm happy with that. What I'm gonna do, so now that just kind of leaves, I gotta fill in a gap there and a gap there. So I'll just cut a piece out and then I'll then hold it where I want it. And then in here, I'm just gonna do another piece, weld it up in and I don't know if I'm just going to fold this over or just weld it to it just so it's got double wall at the at the bottom there so it'll fit right across there super nicely and I think that's all I'm going to do uh, I have this just weld on top of the door so once I get it in I'll just kind of slice it and this little piece here will come out and I just get it out from the inside of the door but uh, yeah I mean I don't know I guess it is what it is and then like I said I got to build this little piece by I think I'm just going to fold a piece of steel over and then weld it right on, then clean the weld up and it'll have the same-ish look. And I might do at the bottom, I don't know. I guess we'll see how it looks on the on the car. Now I think about it, it would be nice to have a little bit more strength there. So that might be uh, 
an important part but uh yeah i'll keep cutting and grinding and uh you know bring it back see where i go uh my time lapse camera the uh sd card filled up at some point so i figured i'd stop show you where i'm at so i have the panel just tacked right to the door same as before uh, I actually took this panel out and I put a, a deeper one in. I'll have to cut it out to kind of match the door, but I'm not too concerned because the door panel will cover that. I uh, then, I put this little uh, L piece in. So I've done door skins before in like muscle cars and the door sticks out and these kind of fold the steel around. So what I actually did before I put this little support in, I closed the door, which I probably won't be able to do right now. And I just hammered over to where the sill would be. Because ultimately that's kind of where I wanted to be pinched anyways, but on the inside of it. So now I had that started. I then welded in this little bracket, just tack welded and put a couple of tacks to hold it. Now I'm going to sandwich it together like a regular door skin. So once I had it kind of 90, I just used this little dolly to jam that up in there. Started folding it over. And then once I get a little more flat, I'll just put like a heel dolly or something in there on the door skin side and knock it in. And that'll be all pinched and i might just put a few tack bolts to hold it but that'll give it lots more structure so that's pretty good then i like i said it's got to do the the front and the back of the door kind of make a piece that goes around and then finish up on the front zip it out weld it in clean it up and then afterwards i'll build uh, these little kind of trimmy looking uh, things so it kind of looks like crap but as i've learned in my limited amount of metalworking, uh, the shittier it's going, it seems like the more of the uh, right track you're on. So I'm hoping it'll just magically be a door in another hour or two, uh, but we'll see. And I welded uh, where this angle is, I actually welded that to the door too. So it's it's got lots of strength, it's not going to shake around or anything down there. So I'm happy with it. I'll get folding this back over and uh, I guess carry on. Well, uh, so made a fair bit of progress there. Uh, I didn't really have the time lapse going, so I was just kind of winging it. So it's going back and forth, and it's probably bad to watch me just figure this out. But uh, so the panel's on, just tack welded on. Still got to do the the skin there. On the inside, I was actually really happy with the way it came out. So uh, I ended up kind of making a little panel there. You guys all saw, and I wrapped it around up in here and i welded it in there across the sides uh this is my little fold over so it's not perfect but it's decent uh, when i'm 100 happy with it, i'll probably put a few tack bolts in uh, i did the edges and then the front and back i just made a little piece kind of in there weld that in and then same here so it's definitely not uh factory forward stamping but uh it'll be plenty strong uh, it looks, you know, decent. I mean, enough. This will be on the bottom side of the car. So I still got to make these pieces front and back. But, uh, the door closes. It fits pretty decent. Again, this is, that's going to kind of hide all that. So I wasn't obsessed with it. Otherwise, it's, uh, you know, pretty much level. Decent with the bottom of the car. Worst case, if I want, I can put one of those across. It's got the decent, uh, kind of curve to it it slopes in i don't know i mean it is what it is i got a little screw around to do around the hinge it's tight to get in there so i might cut up and around and then just kind of metal finish it there and the door just sneaks a little bit too far i might just have to zip cut a little bit or grind it down and then i'll put my kind of trim piece wherever you want to call on so yeah i'm pretty impressed with it myself you guys let me know what you think but uh be gentle on me I gotta figure out how I'm gonna make this piece. I'm thinking I might try and use a tipping die or that bead roller, I'm not too sure. Worst case, I'll just end up folding a piece of metal in half, sandwiching it in another one. I might weld something on there and uh, be done with it. 
but I'm gonna go in have something to eat and uh, I'll be back a little later and hopefully I can knock this door out. at the very least maybe I'd like to weld this in take my time so it doesn't warp anything grind that 100% smooth so it's 100% done then I just have the two little trim pieces and then the best part is I gotta try and uh, somewhat match it on the other side so uh, if you guys ever see this thing in public look inside the doors because they're no way in hell gonna match but uh, it'll look good from far I don't know, see you guys in a bit uh okay finished up supper i've actually been out in the garage for a little bit i wasn't filming because i wasn't knowing exactly what i was doing and i didn't want to pass on any bad information or get judged too bad so i was making these little lips on the doors so they're okay they're uh i put them on i had to trim them so they're not exactly straight so i might have to just i don't know a straight edge or do something or weld a little bit of welding wire <clears throat> on each side and start fresh but uh overall not terrible it has the kind of look uh i guess that i was going for i'm not going to put anything on the bottom i don't think leave it like that uh, think about it for a day i'm going to watch a little bit of youtube videos and see i was trying to use the bead roller and the you know the brake and a few things just the metal wasn't doing what i wanted so i got the kind of roundabout shape <clears throat> i definitely could fix it with filler but i'd like to get a little closer with the metal if i could but uh who knows anyways it's getting kind of late i was just gonna finish welding on this so i'd like to uh, get that done and cleaned up and yeah be done for the night so that's my plan so since you guys up on the tripod we'll burn that in grind her down and uh call her All right, so I'll weld it in. I'm happy with it. I'll put a little bit of hammer and dolly work. Uh, I can get to the inside, no problem. Around the seam, so it's got just a bit of a hump, a little bit of a crown might knock that in. But overall, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. The inner structure turned out really good. It's nice and strong. There's no issues there. I'm gonna straighten out this lip just a little bit, a little bit more hammer dolly. Just it's got a bit of a wave in it. And then, like I said, these here, I'm not overly stoked on them, but they work. They're good enough. Fits up against the body nice. I think it'll be uh, good enough for who it's for. A little bit of filler on there, that, hit, that fixes everything. And then probably some, uh, some sort of trim clad of my choice. Do a few spots to carry on. But, uh, so it's getting pretty late. I don't think I'm going to start on the other door. I'll leave that for tomorrow. But uh, in the meantime, subscribe to the channel, do me a favor. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow after work. All right, guys, next day, uh, we're gonna take a little intermission from the tea. Uh, actually, today, in the mailbox, my buddy Andy, I guess, he had uh, 31, I don't forget what it says, but it was a Model A frame, and he bobbed the uh, horns off, so he mailed them to me in a Princess Auto uh, box. So yeah, I can stab those on at some point once you get the body and all that situated. Uh, the other thing I got, some new wire. So I'm going to snip that on the old 57, I think is what my plan is. So I'm wearing my outdoor and boots. So it stopped snowing, but what the hell? So sun's actually out, could be a lot worse, but... <sighs> dig that thing out a little bit change that wire and see if that'll fix my problem i'm hoping it either grounded out or maybe it was you know, something my fault i'm sure because that's in the back of the uh my truck i got some stuff i want to unload in the garage and uh instead of dragging it through the snow i'd rather back it up so i'm gonna start working on that sucker oh and then spin this thing around start working on the other door and uh call the night should be a fun one fridays
All right. So I left that wire real long. Fire this piece of junk up. And now it won't charge. The old alternizer is uh, kind of streaming away. So I think what I'm going to do, I got this piece of junk, that piece of junk that won't run. So this is going to become my new parts car. I'm going to borrow this alternator. So I assume it works, never even checked it. Two bolts of belt, a couple of connectors, slap that one on that one, and that one on that one maybe, so it'll still run. And then see if that problem goes away. So at least this way I can move this pile of junk. Gosh, there are a lot of snow. So we're going to do a R and R real quick in the snow. Okay, so got the used alternator on. Again, the wire's real long, nothing's touching. We'll just see what happens. The old $8,000 parts truck now. Okay, man. charging so I don't know if I had a bad alternator or maybe I'm assuming that wire bust and it grounded it torqued out that alternator which is a pain because it was brand new I don't like buying brand new parts but at least this thing's mobile the truck will still run just won't charge at least it'll run shitty and won't charge now ah I'll get this cleaned up and I think I'll uh deal with it some other time back to the T we're back inside uh, I spun the T around just a little bit uh, this door actually doesn't look quite as hammered so that's good uh, so I'm just thinking it out I think I'm just gonna add on here I'm not gonna fold over zip it in there I'll be golden this door this might sound funny I love how beat it is. Like, it was just, like, what the hell happened? Like, it was smashed in, and then who knows, gas welded back together a bunch of years ago. It's just beat. And I like that. So, I think what I'm going to try and do is just find where the, the rust goes down the lowest, straight edge it across, and then just do as small a patch panel as I can, and leave all this butchery. Because I love it. I feel like it's uh, meant to be. It suits me. And then this one actually has most of this little kind of bead. So really it's actually real close on this one. It's only going to have a few inches. So this one's actually going to be a pretty easy repair compared to the other side. The back of the door is actually still all good. It's just folded. So I'll just have to do a little bit of welding, maybe a little panel. And same thing actually the front of the door is still in good shape. It's actually just kind of broken loose, but I can probably just put a little piece of metal in there and weld it back and it'll be, it'll be cherry. So this one, nice little surprise. I thought this was the hard side. I started on the hard side like an idiot. Probably should have started here. I would have learned all the mistakes. But I knew this was the door that was haggard, so I assumed it would have been the worst. Huh. So I'll use my eyeballs next time instead of my memory. But, uh... I don't know, I think this one, instead of kind of talking the way through it, I'll probably set, uh, I got the GoPro going. Probably set it up, just do some time lapse, kind of burn through it, and uh, and carry on. It's Friday afternoon, on the way home from work, I stopped and got some uh, sandpaper and body filler. So I might even just start doing some body work, but I'll probably be in the next video. I think we've probably got enough uh, entertainment in this one by the time I'm done the door. So, I'll get started at it, and uh, yeah, we'll jam through this thing.
All right, so I've been slugging along. Danielle just texted me. Dinner is ready, so I'm going to take a little break. But uh, you can kind of see what I did here. As soon as the other side, I start off with my uh, flat plate. I folded it around the sill to get about the shape I want, which I'm happy with. The problem with this door, I don't know how it's going to show up on camera, but because the door is so caved in and out, it's screwing up down here. So I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more uh, well in a little bit. And I can get to the back side. So see if I can hammer and dolly that. You get some of it open, you get so hammered there. <laughs> How much do I want to fix it? That's what I wanted. Uh, on the back side, I added my little kind of gusset and rolled it up and then just folded the, the door on. So it's not. I'm going to clean this up, straighten off the edge and uh, hammer and dolly it right flush. But uh, otherwise, it's getting there. And then, I mean, back here, I'll just kind of do a little filler panel on there. Nothing too serious. And at the front, I didn't look at the front, but uh, that's perfect. Trim it up a little bit. Probably just well on that, even though it's kind of rusty. This metal is so thick, it'll uh, it'll be just fine. So, do that. Then all I have is these little kind of pieces left. And they're actually in not too bad shape. I still have something to work with here. Weld that on. And then, yeah, decide while I'm having some dinner how much I want to fix that up. Because I do like the uh, character it adds. So, I'll be back at it a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I came out and just started working. Uh, I figured I was just going to start starting up the time lapse again, and that was kind of boring. So, I finished welding in the panel there. I made my little rib piece, the same as I kind of did yesterday. Uh, pretty simple. I haven't done uh, the inside. i got to finish up in there a little bit, but... Uh, uh, yeah, I did it all in here. I don't know if I showed you that or not, but I rewelded it, ground it all down, so it's all happy. I'm happy with it. I ended up uh, kind of putting my own little goopy welds in there, and I just kind of hit them real quick with the grinder to give it that same kind of look. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm thinking I'm just going to paint the bottom half of this thing with some uh, red oxide primer. See how that looks. It'll kind of have the same shitty look, and then I'm not going to seal it or nothing, so it'll just kind of rust through a little bit. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. It still needs probably another day or, or a half day for sure. Tomorrow, maybe after work. I got to weld all the inside and kind of stuff like that. And just, just finish everything up, which is pretty boring to show on camera. So I wanted to get all the nice, pretty things done. So I think that's where I'm going to end this video. Let me know what you think. Uh, as always, I appreciate all the support. If you haven't already, subscribe below. Turn the bell on so you get uh, notified. Try and do in kind of two, three videos a week. And then uh, we live stream on Saturdays, so for sure around 7 o'clock Central. Make sure you're there for it. Uh, again, thanks to Andy for those frame horns. It's going to look slick eventually. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I'll see you guys in the next one. Body work is next. Ugh.